it started when um, Gary Gillette who was invited to a meeting of the uh, Black Historic Sites Committee mm -hmm. uh, and he said well there is this historic Hamtramck Stadium uh, that where one of the few stadiums still left in the country where the Negro Leagues were allowed to play. Mm -hmm. And so from that we got involved because it was a centennial anniversary, 1919. And with the exhibit we get to tell that story of the legendary teams, the players, the exhibit is up through September. So that's kind of how it started and it really is a chance for the public to be educated about America's pastime. Yeah. It's a chapter of history that really this hasn't been told. Yeah. Gary, you you have been involved with this issue for a long time, I know. About uh, 10 years. Yeah. 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 Uh, talk about who the Detroit Stars were uh, and why it's sort of significant to try to preserve that history. Well, the Detroit Stars were founded in 1919. They were the first major Negro League team in Detroit. There would have been black teams coming through town to play white teams mostly because um, it was better payday to play white teams because then white fans would show up, right? <laughs> right. And um, in 1920 they were a charter member of the first major Negro League, the Negro National League. So next year we have the centennial of the founding of the Negro National League which will be a national celebration. The Stars played in Detroit until 31 when they were a victim of the Great Depression along with the league. There was a new Detroit Stars team in 33, lasted a year, a new team in 37, lasted a year. Um, it was really hard during the Depression. Major League teams struggled, mm -hmm. and several Major League teams uh, almost went bust as well. So it's not peculiar to the Negro Leagues. Mm -hmm. But you can't tell the history of the African American community in Detroit without talking about the most popular sport, except for boxing, Joe Lewis, who was, of course, a hero in Detroit and then an international hero. Baseball, the Negro Leagues were the big deal. Yeah. Uh, and uh, your father, Turkey Stearns, is somebody uh, who's closely associated with the Stars, it is one of my favorite uh, historical baseball players, uh, black, white, or whatever. Uh, talk about what you remember about uh, your father and uh, him playing in these leagues. Well, I, my dad was a great person. Unfortunately, my sister and I were born after he had stopped he playing. Done, yeah. So, you know, I get to hear the stories from other people, and he's had all of his inductions have been posthumous. Um, so he died in 1979, and he was inducted into the Afro American Sports Hall of Fame in 1987, um, 2000, the National Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, 2007, Michigan Sports Hall of Fame, 2010, Tennessee Sports Hall of Fame. And we visited Kauffman Stadium, um, where the Kansas City Royals play. They have their own Hall of Fame, and he's inducted in the Cooperstown section. Huh. And also, the Tigers put a permanent plaque yeah. in 2007. Yeah. So yeah. phenomenal athlete. Yeah, yeah. And, and great father. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alana, welcome to uh, American Black This is the Thank first time you. we're having it you is. here yes. as the new uh, director over there. Uh, talk about the importance of these kinds of exhibits uh, yeah. at the museum. Well, as you know, Stephen, the, our mission at the Detroit Historical Society is to tell Detroit stories and why they matter. And to have an opportunity like this to tell a story that really matters, that so many people don't know about, yeah. you know, is really remarkable. Um, <laughs> and it's very popular. As Karen said, it's open till the end of September. We're free all summer, so we really hope everyone comes down to Midtown to, to visit the museum. But this has been a great opportunity for really a remarkable partnership. Um, the Historical Society and the Black Historic Sites Committee um, have been partners. Uh, we we celebrate, uh, we both celebrate our, we celebrate our centennial in uh, 2021, mm -hmm. and the Black Historic Sites Committee celebrates their 50th um, the same year. So this has been a long time partnership, but this is the first time that we're doing an exhibition together. And to partner as well with Gary and his group at the Historic Hamtramck Stadium has been, uh, you know, really a, a great experience for us in pulling together different organizations um, to tell a story that needs to be told. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember your dad talking about not being able to play in the major leagues and, and what that meant to him? Yeah, he didn't dwell on that, but he talked about the of segregation, the fact that they weren't allowed to play, and he felt that they were as good or better mm -hmm. than the players that played in the, the major league. Well, right. certainly was, and they, I know they barnstormed the Detroit Tigers, uh, all-star team barn, barnstormed the Detroit Tigers, I think, 13 times and beat them 11 out of 13. Right? <laughs> My dad was not bitter. Um, I think he was disappointed. Yeah. that he missed out on that opportunity because there was no compensation, you know, the monetary compensation that they deserved, they didn't get. Yeah, 
Yeah. Um, uh, what do you think he would make of uh, all of the hullabaloo about him now? I mean, he's he's much more celebrated <laughs> now than he was then, right? I, you know, I've told people before, I think my dad would be in awe because he was a very conservative, um, low-key, reserved person. So he, he'd be kind of shocked because when we went to the Negro League reunion in um, 1979 and July 4th weekend, he got to see all the guys that were still alive. There were like ten of them. Uh -huh. And my dad had a hearing loss and so when they were talking to him, um, he was excited to see them and then they, when they realized it was him, Turkey, like they were like, oh wow. And I got to sit there and watch them talk about how wonderful he was and it was almost like they kind of like worshiped him almost, you know. <laughs> but my dad, it, he didn't care about that. Yeah. So I think he'd be happy. Um, he could celebrate all these inductions, sure. and the recognition, but he didn't need that. Yeah.